Hi everyone, welcome to the Pure Water Educational Series. My name is Taylor and today we will be discussing the topic of minerals in our tap water. So the most common question we get here at Pure Water is, don't I need the minerals in my tap water? The answer to that is no, you do not. And today I will be giving you three reasons why you should not be consuming minerals in your tap water. The first reason is that minerals in our tap water are actually inorganic minerals. These are minerals that are not bioavailable, which means our bodies cannot absorb or utilize them. In fact, these are actually just rock deposits that you've probably already seen in your home. It's what you might find at the bottom of your tea kettle or around your sink, faucets, and drains. The minerals that our bodies need actually come from an organic source, which means that they are bioavailable. Examples of organic sources may include fruits, vegetables, healthy meats, or supplements that our doctors recommend. The second reason is that our municipal water supplies are flooded with contaminants today. According to the Environmental Working Group, there are over 100,000 cancer cases from our contaminants in our drinking water. Some contaminants that can be found in drinking water may include arsenic, lead, nitrates or nitrites, and radioactive contaminants. Just these contaminants alone have been shown to lead to illnesses and disease. And just because you live in a first world country does not mean you are not at risk of consuming bacteria and viruses in your water. Examples of these contaminants can include E. coli and Giardia. So is drinking tap water for minerals really worth the risk of consuming these contaminants? The third reason is that even if minerals in our water were beneficial, it would be impossible to get your recommended dietary allowances from just drinking water. And I'll explain here by using calcium and magnesium, which are two minerals that most people are deficient in. Calcium has an RDA of a thousand milligrams a day. Calcium in tap water can range between one to 135 milligrams per liter. 135 milligrams per liter is considered to be very hard water. So let's say you live in an area with very hard water. That means you would need to be consuming 7.4 liters or nearly two gallons of tap water to get your recommended dietary allowances. Now let's talk about magnesium. Magnesium has an RDA of 420 milligrams a day. Tap water can have up to 10 milligrams per liter. So that means you would need to be consuming 42 liters or nearly 10 gallons of tap water to get your recommended dietary allowances of magnesium. So it is impossible to be consuming that much water in a day and it's also very unsafe to even try to be consuming that much water in one day. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide what's best for you and your family. Here at Pure Water, we invest in our health by owning a pure water distiller. It removes over 99% of contaminants, and it's built right here in the USA, so you know you're getting a high quality machine. And the great thing about distilling your water is you are in control of what's in it. You get to decide if you wanna add liquid minerals, electrolytes, or just drink pure H2O. That is completely your choice. If you're ready to invest in the best water distiller on the market, check out our website at mypurewater.com. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this educational video on minerals in our tap water. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at info at mypurewater.com or you may call us at 
875-5915. Thank you.